What's up, guys? If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Also, please smash that like button on the video and enjoy the show. In the Amazon, though, it's a whole different matter because oh, you have your, you pitch right. your hammock and stuff, but then you got to get a mosquito net. You're sleeping in the middle of fucking jaguars and yeah. all these animals. How do you? Is it possible to pick a spot where you're like, ah, oh, this is safe? No. Yeah. No. If but I put you, you out in the jungle, the if I do put you out in the jungle right now, and give you a machete. Which again, I, I'm bringing. I, I'm bringing a 45. Sorry, it's not gonna help you. What are you gonna do? <laughs> shoot a tree? Right. Oh no, I'm gonna shoot the fucking jaguar if it comes <laughs> at me. You're gonna, you're gonna be shooting at ants because what's gonna happen is you're gonna get lost. You're gonna get tired. Your flashlight's gonna run out of battery after like four or five hours. Most flashlights start blinking. I'll bring my charger. Bring your charger, okay? <laughs> and then you're sitting underneath a tree now, and you realize I can't sit still because of the mosquitoes. And then you're gonna spend a few hours walking around in circles and you know maybe you make it to the next morning and you don't stop walking but at some point you got to sleep and that's where the jungle starts to be the jungle because you the first time i got lost out there i tried I slept fell asleep underneath a tree and i like you know my flashlight was on its last legs and i cleared out underneath the tree and i slept there and I, you just covered in ants and termites and mosquitoes and flies and then oh and then you get bot flies and I lay eggs on your skin that burrow into your skin. Ugh. And then you have worms in your skin. <laughs> and now you're just a host and the jungle's eating you. And you're just I like, like this podcast studio. Yeah, yeah right? Yeah. Um, I had I had six bot flies across my stomach for mm. most of May and June. And just living there. Oh, we couldn't get them out. We you just like wake up in the morning and be like, morning. Uh yeah, they wake you up in the morning because they start eating. So they start twitching. It's awful. What it's are they eating? Awful. Your skin? They're eating your skin. That's why they live in you. It's warm and there's food. Oh, yeah. are you immune to a lot of this shit now? Like, are you Dude, mi- not no, necessarily that, but no. like mosquitoes and shit? Do they still bother you when you're uh, out there? Mosquitoes don't leave a mark anymore. Sandflies don't leave a mark anymore. I've like JJ also like we've kind of evolved to the point that our skin has a doesn't doesn't get upset by the mosquito bites. But the bot fly, if you could pull up what a bot fly looks like coming out, like close up of a bot fly coming out of human skin, it is awful. And you wake up to that. How big are these things? Uh, anything from like a like a raisin, that middle one right there. Oh, yeah, that's it. The the if you see the video of that oh, shot, th- oh, it's in it. It's dude, in the skin. No, click on it because that's that's actually a video, and this thing is pulsing out of this this human skin. So the mosquito lands and it drops these. Yeah, is that it? This yeah, is a bot fly. Hit that. All right. Cut ahead, right there, right there, right there, right there. there. So that's a bot fly. What we saw was that it was its head. So this thing is going to catch a mosquito in midair, deposit its eggs onto the mosquito, and then let the mosquito go find a host, whether that host is a bird or a human. Oh, yeah, dude. Yo, you ever see the movie Tremors? No, maybe. Mm. That sounds familiar. Giant underground things in Kevin Bacon. See, look. This is what happens. Oh! And then they burrow into this. Oh my! Oh no! No. Nope. So look, look, look. No. Nope. This is how nope. I. This is how I would wake up every day for nope. two months. Nope. Mm-hmm. Nope. I'm good. That is fucking that disgusting. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. And you JJ, can't do that. JJ, what about like a match? Can you just like burn your skin? Uh, you can do that. You can spray raid on your skin. That'll sometimes oh, kill them. Yeah, that seems healthy. That's great, right? Yeah, it seems awesome for you. Sprayed a lot of raid before, never on my fucking self. <laughs> that is it's awful. More, I, it's I, awful. I read about a bug. I think it was in David Grant's book, the kissing bug, Lost City of Z, where there's there. Yeah, the kissing mm-hmm. bug. Is that what mm-hmm. they call it? Where it'll fucking it will literally fucking land on human lips, yeah, sting you, whatever it does. You're like ah, and then you're good, and you're then good. randomly, 10, 15 years later, <laughs> you're fucking dead. Yeah. Like this is no, what you're up terrifying. against in there. That's that that's terrifying. How many of those things exist though? How many of those things have fucked around on my lips while I'm while I'm asleep? Yeah, you're gonna. I'm fucking, gonna fucking die. You're gonna fucking <laughs> kill over right here. Is there like an antidote we can get for that um, or something? Or can you check if you've been kissed by the kissing bug? I don't remember if you. I, I don't, don't know. Think you if you can. could like take a take a test and be like, okay, I'm gonna drop dead in about six minutes. Like, I think that was the um, implication. You can't check it. No, I, I believe dead. that you cannot check it. How many how many insects do we not even know about in the Amazon? Like, Milli- millions. 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 That high. Okay, so at some point we had to talk about it, the, the treehouse. So everything you're saying about 
and I'm going to plug this thing because it's so damn cool. Everything that you're saying about the Amazon and how do we survive there, there's, so you have this, on the one hand, you have beautiful wildlife and then you have the extreme conditions. And so we were saying, how can we find a way for people to be able to see the beautiful wildlife without experiencing the extreme conditions? And either you turn it into Epcot, which sucks, and there's plenty of places like that where you can go and go to a big lodge where you don't get to really experience the jungle, or like what you just clicked on, we made the world's tallest luxury treehouse, which yeah, is, thing is amazing, up above the canopy, 110 feet, looking out over the Jungle Keepers Reserve. You have air conditioning, running water, toilet, everything you need. How often have Even you slept water. there? Oh, me and my girlfriend spent like a week up there. Oh, that sounds Oh, yeah. Romantic. Like we're like, we just, we didn't even sleep inside the structure. We just you put never our, left. We never. Yeah. <laughs> in the daytime, you, in the daytime, you want to go down. Oh, and, and it even some... has a mosquito thing around it? Yes. Yeah, so you're in an air conditioned room with a mosquito net. So you're like triple safe. So you're fucking without the mosquitoes. That's good. You're not, you don't have mosquitoes there, but we were not in the room. No, I put a, we, oh, you no, went, you I did it see on the, the wood. I want to see the stars, man. <laughs> Let's see the stars. <laughs> this is fucking amazing. How long did it take to build? Uh, about three months. That. That's it. Uh, to yes. build that yeah, thing all the way up but, there. But we have we that we have a team right now that's insane. We have who's your team? Spider Man, <laughs> JJ, Mosin, Stefan, my friend Lee. We all we all just we brought in this team of guys that builds tree houses all over the world. All over the world. How we got did, Pico, Victor, all the. They built the staircase, went up in a spiral. The first half <gasps> half of the cost of building this thing was the it, it was like it was like building the pyramids. We had to bring it from the river <laughs> up to the thing, and then it this spiral staircase started going up towards the canopy. Did well, the wood weigh fucking twelve tons? Uh, I did try carrying one of the beams that they used to make the staircase, and it was a fifteen foot, I want to say six by six of tropical hardwood. 15 feet is like this room there yeah but th this this wood no, right but, here is but, very similar but six by six this is a two by six right so you're talking about like a pillar right that thing weighs it's like some noah's ark shit. 300 pounds and yeah. these guys were putting it on their back single at a time and carrying it up up the spiral staircase <sighs> that they no, no not the spiral staircase but up from the river up because this is like a promontory above the river what a what uh this is a place where the terra firma forest ends and then the land drops down into the river basin. So okay, the reason in this the reason this tree looks out across the rest of the jungle is because it's at the edge of a cliff. So it's not that high up. It is. It's a very high tree. It's, it's high like up, but it's not high up off the ground below it. It's double. It's it's so here, look at this. Look at here's here's the jungle. Here's the tree. But then the jungle does this. We just chose a big tree that was 140 feet tall. So yeah, so you still- It's the, a huge tree, but it's at a spot scary. where the jungle goes down. Nope, this is even scarier. So my question is though, did they use a crane to no. fucking build up there? Or no. they, they built a staircase and walked up to the top and started hammering? No, this was all ropes, pulleys, people. Uh, we had like an ox cart that, that, that we had. We had an amazing did team. Did they have a platform up there that they could stand on? No. The first time we climbed the tree, it was just ropes. The first time that tree you was climbed. You people are out of your fucking mind. Dude, we had to climb up the vines on the tree to get to the top. I, you like Tarzan climbed up we, vines? Yes. Yes. 100%. That's how this we got up Darwinism. to this tree. This is Darwinism. This is Darwinism at its finest. I don't know how you guys aren't dead. Um, there's actually an even bigger strangler fig in the forest, and we were out on a hike a few weeks ago, actually, and I had never seen this tree before. I found a new tree, and this tree completely covered in strangler fig, and I look at this tree, and I'm like, oh, my God. It's so easy to climb. Like it's not like it's big, juggy, handholds, plenty of footholds, and I go from zero to the canopy, 150 feet up. I'm on I'm on the same eye level as spider monkeys. I literally get up there, and the spider monkey looks over at me. <laughs> you could just tell he's like, "Wait, what?" <laughs> the spider monkey like did this double take. He's he like, was like, "What are you?" Fellas, they can climb. <laughs> yeah, oh shit. <laughs> um, but it's it's just crazy because some of these trees have such and I you know as, as I'm climbing too I'm going okay this is like I'm like free soloing a Amazon tree and I'm going is this you know I'm at, to what degree am I putting my life in danger right now and I said this tree this particular tree was so easy to climb it, it was like a ladder I mean yeah it's 150 feet but uh, you know two points of contact so at you all don't times. get afraid of heights I get afraid of heights if I'm not in control now. If I stuck my hand in a hole and bees came out into my face, am I dead? Probably. But if nothing goes wrong, 
and you just you know if you sneeze you die no but the, this this is completely safe the uh the guys who made it made the 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 architects made it so that the spiral staircase is completely closed in the everything's at regulation height the this you could bring you know toddlers up there this is anybody could go up to the treehouse and that's the point and that's the point is that a lot of the people that want to visit the amazon and don't want to suffer through the bugs and the mud and the blood you go up here you go in the air conditioning you get brought coffee in the morning you take some pictures of macaws flying across the sunrise and like it's a much chiller way and here's the interesting thing we've never had access to the rainforest canopy like this traditionally if scientists wanted to access the canopy of the rainforest you had to shoot an arrow with a with piece of like fishing line over it, pull your ropes, climb up to the canopy. You're on ropes. You have helmets on. You're swinging between the trees. It's it's something you can only maintain for a few hours. This is a time now you can actually sit in the canopy, spend time up there. So the information that we're gonna get, the we're already seeing. I can't I can't actually talk about it yet, but we're seeing species up here that you don't see on the ground. You can't talk about it. No, because what are you, we like haven't code pub- of silence. Because we haven't published anything yet. Oh. We're seeing species up there that we don't see on the ground. I'll tell you off air. Okay. But we're seeing things I'll that we don't sure even. I'll make sure the recorders just. We, we don't even know what they are. Thank you for watching the video, guys. Please hit that subscribe button and check out this clip's full podcast episode by clicking here or in the description below.